Welcome to updating and installing firmware for the 500 SEM GPS tactical camera. Similar to software, firmware is a rather small program and data structure that allows us to control and modify the camera's internal functions in order to add, delete, or modify capabilities and features, or to simply fix bugs. At Geotactical Solutions, we are continuously engaging our clients and users in order to solicit valuable feedback for future modifications. A simple example resulted from feedback we received about inadvertent power on or off from bumping the power button. As a result, users were either draining battery power when the camera was inadvertently turned on when being transported, or users were losing their GPS fix and track logs when they inadvertently powered the camera off. In response, Geotactical Solutions released a firmware update that requires the power button to be pressed and held 2-3 to three seconds to power on or off thereby eliminating the problem. So please, send GTS your feedback. To begin, we need to locate the SD card on the computer. So we need to drop in our new firmware file into the root folder. To do that, here we've opened up our RICO SD card. And of course we have our formatted folders here. We're going to take our uflex 3 named file, which is our firmware file, and we're going to drop it right into the root folder. Don't place it into any of the folders themselves, just into the root SD card. With the SD card inserted into the camera, go ahead and set the mode dial at top to the microphone. And then, to install the firmware, you're going to press up and zoom in while turning on the power. The camera is going to ask you to execute. Go ahead and select yes. The camera is then going to check the rewrite file, then rewrite the program and then power off. Once the camera powers back on, go ahead and turn the camera off. The firmware has been installed, but we need to initialize the settings now. To initialize the firmware settings, we're going to press up and zoom out while turning on the power. Initialize the setting, answer is yes, press OK. To check which version of firmware you have installed on the camera, go ahead and press down and zoom in while turning on the power. Under the CPU2 heading, version 3.70 as seen here is the version of our firmware. It's time to like these, time, time again.